again. Uh, we just completed the offset, and uh, we're going to talk about the 90, the alley dock. In the state of Alabama, the alley dock can be anywhere as long as you're parallel with the alley dock to start it. Uh, the rules are you got six pull-ups and two get-out looks, okay? Uh, you're in a 12-foot lane right here, and what you're going to do is you got to pull out this lane and back it over here to the alley dock. And you got a three-foot box back there that you're going to back it in. Um, this here is a, a big truck with a 48-foot trailer on it. Uh, what you're going to do is you got to pull out straight to demonstrate control, and then you're going to back it in this dock. Okay, first of all, the very first thing I always do is when I do my 90, is I always look down. When I'm in the driver's seat, I always look down to see how close I am to the left side. Because if I was further away from the left side, that means I'll pull up and then roll left a little bit, then straighten my truck up. But if I'm close to this left side, I'll just pull out straight. Does that make sense? So if I throw our weight and hot on the right, I would pull out, roll left a little bit, then roll right, then get straight to straighten my truck up. If I'm already close to the left side, I just pull out straight. Don't even, don't even do that little roll. All right, so I'm gonna crank it up and I'm gonna pull on up and we'll talk about it up there. my truck and trailer right now I pulled up past it about half the trailer length of what I went past it can you see that where I pulled down about half the distance so I'm gonna back it in that 90 right there all right now other thing I like to show you is this
wheels like that, which made my truck turn to being like that, putting in this bend in my truck. As you can see, the bend, I don't want to hold the light too long because it'll turn into a tractor trailer jackknife if I hold it too long. My goal is hold it to the second land leg, hair daylight. And that's what I'm talking about right here. Hold it about like that, what it looks like. No more, no less. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so now we want to slow the trigger down. So we're going to put a hard left in it to slow it down. So this is called a chase. pointing towards the box now but it still kicked out to the right some so now I want to twist the trailer in there by putting a straight in it and back up just a little bit like 18 inches or so and just to twist it a little bit again I stopped the second land leg here daylight with that hard right I don't hold it no more no less like I said at the very beginning because I don't want to turn it to a truck trailer jackknife now with my truck trailer being like this I back over the straight, pushing this broken right here, and it's gonna make the other trailer twist. And that's why it's called a twist. So that's so what that does. That's step four, by the way. point of my trailer is to the cone. If it's three feet, I want to back up with a straight and twist my trailer around. Then I want to chase it with a hard left and come back in front of it and put it in the box. If it is four feet, put it down here to the corner. What I'm talking about is the distance to space right here. Left to right. See, that's about three feet. So I would put a straight in my wheel and back up straight and let it walk around in the cone and then I'll chase it with a hard left and get right in the box. 
But I'm only gonna hold this trailer until it turns in the box. No more, no less. Once it turns in the box, that's it. If this was four feet, say the corner of the trailer was right here. The corner of the trailer is this far away. I would straighten my wheel up, put one full turn right in there, hold it till it turns in the box, and then chase it with a hard left. If it is five feet from the cone, I would put a hard right in it. I mean, as far as that thing would turn, hold it, turn it. Once it turns the box, chase it with a hard left and get back in front of it and pull up if I have to. If it is six feet, there's no way I would get in the box. I would have to pull up and get a better bike. Okay? All right. Once I chased him that hard left and started going to the box, I automatically went to my straight line back and rolls, turned to my trouble on the left, kicked it back right, worked it back in, got my truck and trailer straight, and walked it on back in there. All right, now, the object of the game is get my truck and trailer completely straight. I'm gonna be close to one side in the box or another, as long as I'm perfectly straight. Then, I got a three foot box back here. I want to continue back it up until I put my bumper in the box, the three foot box, and then I'll pass. But, notice, I use one get out look. I'd rather you stop short and use a get out look than to be back up too far and then not have a get out look. So I'd rather you stop short, get out look, get back in the truck, crank it back up, and then back on up just a little bit. bumper is in the box. I'm going to look down. I can see my gear. I'm going to walk to the other side. I look down. I can see my mirror on my truck. That means I passed. Now I'll go up there and blow my horn. And then I'm done. Thank you for your time.